all right so right now we're going to create a product so as you can see right here i'm going to stripe account make sure you create your stripe account and so right now as you can see i have set up just the basics uh for test mode and so if i want to go live i had to complete the second step and the third step which i'm not going to do here because we we i'm going to do the test only and so right now as you can see this is we are in testing mode if we want to activate you can do something like this but we're not going to do that so right now let's create a product let's go to more and let's go into product catalog and this is my previous product i've created before i'm going to create a new product so since we're going to have three is first it's going to be happy and you can add description or upload any image of your products which i'm not going to do here or maybe we can add some description so i can copy this one and add it right here and we're going to do like a recurring and then this one is going to be monthly payment so the price is going to be ten dollar okay and so right now i'm going to add the products right here and then we can add another two more which is this one is going to be a pro and the description of this one i can just copy here and this is the same thing is this uh, recurring uh, if one time it's just like pay you pay only one time this is going to be twenty dollar and i'm going to add another product and the last one is going to be enterprise and this one just pays description and this is like a hundred dollar all right so right now we create this one so after that each of the product right here will have the price id so you can see we have the price id here so i'm going to copy of this one so this is like the hobby so let's go into our risk code right here go to price and then i'm going to add to this one so this is like a hobby so we're going to have like a price id which is going to be a string for this one right here and then we can copy the price ID of another plant, which is this one is pro. Let's copy this one. And let's go here, which is the price ID as well. With this one. And another one is for enterprise. Let's go here and just copy. Oh, okay. Just copy this one. And right now we can do the same things for this one. It's going to be price ID. All right, so right now we have this prior ID. So the next step is we're going to load the Stripe inside our application and be able to check out this price right here. All right, so right now we're going back to our VS Code and then we're going to implement the checkout. So for that, let's go into the price. So right here, I'm going to create a new component inside the subscription right here. I'm going to call this one to check out component. And this is going to be the client component. And so I can run the snippets right here. And so for this one, I can copy this button right here. And then we're going to replace with this one. And this one, we need to import this one as well. So for the checkout right here, we're going to need the price ID. And this one is going to be price ID, which is going to be type going to string. So right here, we can go into this one. And then we're going to import the our checkout component. So this one is going to be checkout and then we're going to need the price id so the price id that we just add earlier and then we're going to do that price id right here great so right now we have this one so we need to uh, create a function to be able to handle the checkout so let's do handle checkout and then we can call this function which is going to be right here Great. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to install these stripes um, library. So be able to do this one. So let's go inside here. So we're going to run npm run npm i stripes. And another one is going to be the stripes right here, uh, stripe js right here as well. All right. So make sure you install this one. Great. So after that, I'm going to create the actions right here inside the lips i'm going to create the action and then the action right here is going to be stripe.ts so this is where we're going to run the stripe on the server to do the checkout so i'm going to do use server right here and i think first we need to get the stripe public key and the secret key so for that let's go into the stripe and then go to developer go to api key so right here you can as you can see we get the public key and the secret key so let's copy this one and let's go into the env local and for this one so this is going to be next public and underscore stripes uh, make sure you spell it right stripes pk okay and this is going to be equal to this one and another one is going to be striped sk 
So make sure you're not adding the next public inside the Stripe uh, secret key because this one is secret. So that's why we don't want to expose. So ne uh, pub next public, it means this is public and accessible inside the browser. And this is cannot be accessible inside the browser. So for this one, let's click reveal key and make sure we copy as well. All right, I'm going to do this one. Great. So now let's go back inside our stripes right here. I'm going to create a function. So let's go into export async function and just function right here. This is going to be the checkout. And then for this one, so first we're going to import the stripe. So import stripe from stripe. And so we can create a stripe object is going to be stripe is going to be equal to new stripe. And then this one, we need to get the secret key dot. And this is a key that we need to stripe as K right here. Okay. So we can just do this one to avoid because this is like a TypeScript area. All right. So inside the checkout right here, we're going to need three things, which is going to be the email of the user who want to check out which is going to be a string and this is going to another one is going to be price id and the last one is going to be where after we check out where we do you want to redirect to this is going to be a string as well okay so um, right here we can call to stripe dot uh, checkout and then we can do dot sessions this one is going to be dot create and so right here you can after we check our success we can have the success url so where we're going to redirect to so this is where we're going to use the redirect to right here and if this path right here is, is not passed so maybe we can add like some default value for this one or we can just do all right here this is going to be process.env.desire url so maybe i can create another one which is going to be the psi URL, which is going to be equal to HTTP slash local host slash 3000. Okay. So basically this one, um, uh, this one is the psi URL. So if you deploy this one on production, make sure to just to change this one or adding this one to your deployment. Let's say, for example, like with cell and somewhere like that with the real value of your domain name. And so, yep, that's good to go. So this one, and another one is gonna be the cancel URL as well. So I'm gonna use the same value, which is this one. So after they cancel, we're gonna redirect them to this one. And yeah, so, and another one is for this one is gonna be the customer email, which is gonna be the email that we pass right here. And another one is gonna be the line items. And this is gonna be an array. So we're gonna have the items right here. So we're going to have like the price, which is going to be using the price ID, um, price ID. And another one is quantity, which is going to be one. And the mod of this one is going to be subscription. Okay. Great. So right now we have this one, so we can do a wait. And from here we can have the session backs. And so we can pass this one to the, our checkout component, but this one is run on the client. So in order to pass this object right here to the client component, we need to uh, stringify the objects. Otherwise it's going to be uh, some warning and error. So I'm going to do return dot JSON dot stringify this whole object right here. And yeah, that's good to go now. So make sure this is use server because this is a secret key. So we don't want to run this one on the client. And so this is going to be exposed to secret key. All right, so right now this is all set. So let's go inside the checkout. So right here, we going to call this checkout. But one thing that we need to do is that, so first we can do um, check if the user is locked in or not. So if they haven't locked in, we're going to force them to lock in first. And after that, they can come back and do this one. So for that, we can get the user uh, information by getting the user state right here. And so from here, we can get the data. I'm going to name this one user so we can check if there's a user probably dot id right here and l if there's no user so we can redirect them or push them to the new page so i'm going to do router and then it's going to be use our router make sure that you import the navigation from here and then this one is going to be router dot push to the os page and then after they lock in, we can do like next is going to be equal to location dot uh, pass name. Okay. 
So right now we can try to test this one first. If you go back inside here, and right now I'm gonna try to lock out. So as you can see, I'm locked out. And if I try to click on this one, so you can see it's forced me to the lock uh, login page. And we have the next right here. So if I run this component from anywhere in the page, so the next right here will uh, specify like the, the, the same path of that. So right now I click on login with GitHub. So this one, it will redirect me back to the home page. <coughs> Right, so right now um, we done successfully this one. So right now we need to implement the checkout here. So for this one, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call the checkout function that we go that we just create, which is this one. So we're gonna pass right here is gonna be user dot email, and then another one is going to be the price ID and the redirect back. So the redirect back, I'm gonna do locations dot origin so this is going to be equivalent to localhost 3000 and if you run this one on production this is going to be your domain name if you want to redirect to any path so we can just add like pass right here but for now maybe we can just do with the location or region right here so we can do await this one so remember this one we're going to return back as a string right so we need to pass this one but first, I need to fix the await right here um, by adding the asyncs. So this one, we're going to do JSONs, dot stringify this one right here. And so we can back, we can, we're going to get back the object. So this is going to be data right here. Okay, great. So right now we can have the data, like the sessions of checkout. So the next thing is we're going to load the stripes on our client component. So I'm going to do await right here i'm gonna do we're gonna call load stripes and which is imported from this library right here and for this one we need the public key process.env and this one is gonna be dot hub stripe pk right here okay and so right now make sure we do this one so because we just uh this is like a typescript error and right now after we load stripe we're gonna get like the stripes right here and so for this one we can do stripe dot uh, redirect to checkout and so right here we need to pass uh, the session id so it's going to be uh, sessions id which is going to be data dot id right here okay that we get from uh, this one and just type string that's not okay i think i forgot to pass this one so this is not stringify it's pass so and right here we should be able we'll do another await and then we can get the result from this one and so if we hover on this result, we can get an error if we have. So right here, we can just use if rest.error. So as I'm now, I'm not importing any toss error. So I'm going to do alert fail to check out. All right. So yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it for this one. I think for this one, we need to do some loading as well. So when we click on um, lock out, just check out. But maybe we can test this one first if everything goes as planned or not. Right now, if I go back, so if I click on this one, so you can see it's redirect me to this point. And if I go back to cancel, it's come back here. If I check out on this price, so you can see this is like $10 per month. And just to make sure that everything good, our price I like here 100. Nice. So right now we can test this one. So I can go with, we can, since this is like a test mode, so you can see this is test mode. So you can do like with the fake credit card, which is 42, 42 right here. And this is like, you just make sure like you pass the wallet uh, year and date of this one. Uh, one, two, three, and a cat name. Let's say I'm going to do testing um, zero one. Okay. So right now it hit subscribe. So if this one is successfully, it will redirect back to the URL that we set, which is this the uh, redirect URL right here. So um, as you can see, since this is lo the local 3000, that's why it redirect me back to here. And right now everything is uh, successfully. So by we can check out this one, go to customer. And so you can see this is like a previous customer, but you can see this is like the name that I just said earlier, like the testing zero one, which is this is the date that I call this one. And this is the time, which is great. So right now we be able to subscription and for this user to me um, right now, try to improve more user experience. So you can see when I click on here, we should have some loading indicator that, okay, this is being, uh, let's say something uh, being called. So for that, let's adding the use state. Let's do and maybe I'm gonna do some loading. 
and then set uh, loading and let's do use state equal to fault but when we calling this one and i think maybe we can do this one set uh, loading so this is going to be true and then this one is going to be set uh, loading to fault so yep so right now and then we can do this one so this one i'm going to import the uh, loading i think this um, library so ai i think yeah this one right here this is from the react icon with the logo icon right here and so we're going to give a class name of this one so which is i'm going to use with the cn class and then this one is going to be the animation to spin and then we can check if it is loading we're going to do block l we're going to do hidden of this one and then this one we're going to do flex item standard and then the gap of this one to two as well all right okay great so right now we go back here to back okay all right so if i click on here so you can see we have some loading indicator that okay this is being processed like that great so i guess that's pretty much it maybe we can test for example we can add like the success page that after it's successfully we can redirect to the success page and so right now i'm going to create another page which is going to be success page and dot tsx and let's do this one and for this one let's just do success okay maybe h1 right here success and then let's give a class name tag to which it's reads out oh, fun bowl so we you can customize this page but i'm not gonna do that but just want to make sure that uh, we redirect to success page right now uh, same thing i'm gonna fill out this information So you can see this is the name of a test 02 so i'm click on confirm process right here and make sure that i check out testing 02 it's redirect so you can see it's redirect to the success page so you, you can customize this page as you want and then yeah i think that's pretty much it so right now if we're going back right here so i think we need to refresh this page in order to see so you can see we have testing 02 Great. So right now we be able to check out this information with stripes so the customer can be uh, paid to us. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to store this information that the user be uh, have subscription and subscribe to our application. So we need to let them access to the subscription page and store their information because otherwise uh, right now there's no uh, there's the separation between Stripe and our database. So let's do that.